Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Today I'm going to do the Mixed Media Morsels Part 3 Alcohol Background by Cat Hand. Um, I'm, I'm going to do it like she did it, <coughs> or mostly like she did it. And then I'm going to show you two different techniques that I love, um, that I've been doing forever. I know I've done videos on them, but just to add, add in... Um, you know, some little extra you want to play around. So these are my cards. I just sewed these. These are my cards um, that I got in the mail, my little advertising cards, as you can see. And I just threw gesso on them. And this is one that I painted yellow. And my camera stopped. So <clears throat> that's why it's painted yellow. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So here I am, and then I'm going to do another light color. I think I'm going to add some light blue, and this is Liquitex. And I know that the bottom's showing, the bottom color, and I'm not worrying about that right now. I think my uh, yellow is too light, but I'm just giving a little bit of a background here, and I'm just going to just gonna go like this, I think. And then I'll put a little bit more of that because the yellow is like a transparent, as you can see, it goes on. It's a delicious color, but it's not giving me the coverage that I want. So if you have a time when you're doing something and you don't get the coverage that you that you want, by all means, do what I just do did. Now, look, you can see I still got some of that blue in there and that yellow made some green and that looks like a really cool color. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to rinse my brush. Maybe I'll use a different brush, different brush. Okay. And I'm going to add some more yellow. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to shake it up. And I'm just going to do some knots. I'm not going to... Now, the underneath obviously is wet. And um, I don't want to mix this color too, too much. I do want the yellow to kind of come through. Okay. All right. Just like that. I know. I know. Seems simple, right? It is. So I'm going to dry this with my heat gun if my dog gets off my cord because apparently he's laying on it and I can only look at this much. Problems. Such problems, right? Now, when I gessoed these two, they rolled over like, you know, and even put paint on there, they rolled. But they, once they dry, they come back to the regular shape. So don't be nervous. Um, I know a lot of you get nervous, you know, when that happens, but it's thin paper and that's what's going to happen so i'm just drying it i want the bulk of it dry if you don't have a heat gun get a hair dryer or go to the thrift store and buy a cheap hair dryer they have millions of them online and uh if you don't have any of those leave it sit and dry for 10 minutes start something else watch a video i got tons of videos on my channel go check them out you can search my videos as well if you hit my name underneath here Underneath this video, hit, uh, Kelly Donovan Knitting and Things, it'll take you to my main page. When you go to my main page, or anybody's main page for that matter, you go up into the little box right next to the About, and you type in, I don't know, type in uh, Faux Alcohol Inc. or Mixed Media or whatever. Or you can search on my uh, channel for Mixed Media Morsels, and uh, it'll come up. And then you can watch other videos. And you can do that on anybody's and search up clay, paint, mixed media, whatever you have. Okay. All right. I think that's going to be enough for now. So then she took. All right. Here we go. Okay. Then she took some. I'm trying to figure out my light here. Let's try there. Um, she took a dark color to put on top. What color do I want to... I'm like, let's do red. This is... We want red red or crimson red. Hey, I think I'm going to go red red. So, I'm going to do a ploop right here. Bloop. I'm going to take a big brush that has water on it, and I'm going to... Obviously, I did not clean it enough. And I'm going to dissolve that Go both sides of my brush, like you see, because then it'll load up both sides. And then I'm going to lay it on here. See how nice and watery that is? Just do your thing. It's your thing. Ow. Do what you want to do. Okay. 
So then you see that. And now I'm going to take alcohol. You can use uh, vodka if you have vodka sitting around, but why would you waste it on mixed media stuff? I don't know. Uh, this is 91% rubbing alcohol, but you could use 70%, whatever you have, um, or get at the dollar store because it's a dollar. And you see how my paper is, you know, kind of getting wet and curling, but I'm not going to worry too much. I'm going to do some drops. You can use your paintbrush. You can use whatever you want. Now, I got a lot of paint puddling there. And that could be cool. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to kind of tilt it a little bit with my big hand in the way. And I'm going to do a little bit down here. And you can see I touch it. I, I have this and I'm just touching it. Boop. Boop. If you make the noise sometimes, it makes it fun. And you can go around and do all that you want to do. Oh, I love it. I'm excited. That's what I want. I'm going to set that there. I like these pipettes because like, I have that much left in there, if you can see. And uh, it'll just hopefully sit there until I'm ready to use it again. Where will leak out? We'll see in a moment. All right, so I'm going to set this one aside and let that dry. You can hit that with the heat gun, but honestly, right now, I just want it to dry. And let's see what it's going to do. Okay, so now... I'm going to show you, after I absorb all this up, a couple other things you can do to get this fantastic effect. Okay. So let's take this one, for instance. All right. Grab your nah, 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 Crayola markers. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Whatever colors you want. Let's do... Let's do like uh, orange. I have other ones over there. I should be all the different colors. I don't know, let's try these three. And what I like to do is I go light to dark all the time. I'm going to just scribble as quick as you can because these dry, obviously, but they're water uh, soluble. So you'll see what happens. And you could do all colors, one color. You can do whatever you want because it's yours. Plus, you can see I use the crap out of these. So, All right. You get the gist, right? Now let's take our alcohol, same way, and let's dab it. And look, you can see it running. And look how pretty that looks. So very simple. Now, if you really want to get a little more gusto to it, take your water, spray it. Spray it with a little water. And then, I mean, look at that purple. How delish. Yellow might not have been the best color for me to put on there because it's light. Why, what was I thinking? I don't know. But let's change it and let's add a darker color. Okay, let's do some blue. I mean, look at that, how exciting. These are Crayola markers. Water soluble. I'm just adding some, just some in here. You can see I'm making a beautiful painting. I'm just scribbling it on, scribbling it on. Now let's go into the below. Look at that. Now you can see they're much more controlled here. If I wet it with, uh, well, spray this nozzle the right way, obviously. If I wet all this just with some sprays, it'll help activate it even more. See? Just touching. I'm just touching little, little peeps, little like, ooh, little one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so isn't that fun? Look at all that. So I'm gonna let that dry as well. Obviously, if you're gonna try it, use darker colors. Is my brain on today? I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna put these away. I mean, how much fun, that's so much fun. 
Now you could do the same thing with, um, geez, oh, Pete's watercolor pencils. Um, and it's going to be the same thing because some of us only have watercolor pencils, right? What's, what we're going to do different though, I'm going to get a dark color because, well, we know why. Let's do this color. So I'm going to just work that. But anyway, I want this to be my base color, right? So I'm going to go in and I'm going to scribble my colored pencil down. Now this could be a Crayola brand. This is a Reeves brand, whatever brand you have. And uh, when you pull one out, make sure it doesn't need sharpened and that you don't want to waste your time sharpening it right now. So let's pull red. Let's see if red's better. Or maybe it's orange. I don't know what color it is. I'm just going real lightly over the uh, white of it all, right? And why I'm doing that is because I'm going to take my paintbrush and make sure it's clean. Dry it off a little bit. And then I'm going in and I'm going to activate these. And that will become our base. Obviously, you take a little more time if you want to... Uh, be more precise. I'm just showing you the, you know, what you can do. Then I'm going to spray it with a couple squishes of water. And then let me find a good color. Let's do black. I bet you you could probably see black on there much better. Everything needs sharpened. I don't understand why. Because I'm lazy and I should always sharpen these before I put them away. That way when I go to use them, it's a win for everybody. All right. So now we have this. So now my paper's wet. Oh, you can use your, your um, yeah, you can definitely use your dilutions and your sprays. But you can also use your ink tents and all that. Because they stay, you know, they stay like this until they dry. So you want it, you know, you kind of want it wet. This is going to give you a nice grungy look. And I love grungy. So I thought instead of beautiful, like these two are so beautiful, you'll see when I move them over here again, how they dried. Okay, so you can see the gist of what I'm doing, right? I'm just laying that color down, except right here where my finger was because it lifted it up. But who am I? Okay, so then take your alcohol and drop it, test it. You can see it's spreading. Do I want it a little bit wetter? Maybe in that area. I'm just going to give it a quick mist and you can see it activated that even more and look. And if you're squirting it, you're like, Oh man, it's not doing exactly what I want. Just squirt it with more water because the alcohol will dry it. But look how fun. And you can do whatever colors you want. And if you take another minute, you know, a little more time than I did, you'll see, look how cool. Now imagine doing this in your art journal as your background, right? Imagine doing this on a canvas. Imagine doing this in your mixed media. I love grunge. Do a grunge page and just do this as your background. Let it dry and then work on top. Oh, the fun that we could have. Um, so that's that. Oh, I just have fun. I just love doing this. I'm going to put a little bit there. See, now I got puddles here, which I'll show you. Let me just put that alcohol in there. Make sure the cap's on because I'm known for spilling stuff. All right. So let me just move these so you can see and move it out. Okay, let me turn this this way. Now look at those. Look how cool. You got three different looks. You got three different looks right there. With three different items. We used paint, regular pet paint like Kat did. I used Crayola markers. And I'm going to, I don't know exactly why it's not showing. There we go. There we go. A little bit better. And then we have the black, you know, uh, watercolor pencils. So you get these really great, they can become backgrounds again for your ATC cards. I'm going to probably, uh, put these in a, uh, book like Cabot. Look, look how cool that simple. Now you could see, I have some red on here. I like that red there. Um, you can let it dry. But you can also take your little napkin or whatever you're using and gently, this is just a paint towel that needs washed, just gently lay it in there to soak up. If you want, you don't have to. 
And you see it just soaks it up a little bit and it'll dry. But look how cool, especially when you put your finger in it and smear, smear it. But look how cool they all look. Three different looks, three different ways to do it. Art is fun. That's all I got to say to you. So if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Please share this with everybody. If you just found me, please subscribe. The button's down below. And go give Kat some love. Her link is down below uh, with Mixed Media Morsels. This is part three. And if you guys do this, please tag me on Facebook, Google, wherever you're at so I can see it. Instagram. I love me some Instagram. And uh, all my links are down below. Kat's link down below. So I love you guys so very much. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And... I don't know. I'm going to go have more fun with this. So I will see you guys later. And thank you, Kat. I don't even know if you'll be watching this, but thank you for a wonderful, wonderful uh, thing for me to do to get my mind off everything. Bye, guys.